वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी कैन डिस्कस अबाउट द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स फर्स्ट कमर्शियली अवेलेबल माइक्रो प्रोसेसर वाज द इंडल 4004 प्रोसेसर एंड वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन 1971 एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर इट कंटेंड सम 2300 ट्रांजिस्टर्स विद 400 टू सम 800 किलोहर्ट्ज क्लॉक स्पीड एंड वाज अ Four bit processor. That means it can process four bit of information at a time, and was used for making calculators commonly. And later in seventy two, Intel comes out with the next processor, eight zero zero eight processor with characteristics eight bit processor. That means it can process eight bit of information at a time, and contained some three thousand five hundred transistors in it. With a clock speed of 500 to some 800 kilohertz. Uh, later in 74, Intel comes up with the 8080 processor. It was also a 8-bit microprocessor with an increased clock speed of 2 megahertz, and it had some 6,000 transistors in it, and was 10 times faster than the 8008 microprocessor. After this 8080 uh, Intel processor, Motorola, the another company, comes out with the MC6800 processor. It was also an uh, 8-bit general-purpose processor. It requires only a limited voltage supply, that is, this plus 5 voltage. That was its improvement over the Intel 8080 processor because the Intel 8080 processor requires Three different voltage supplies for its working: plus five volt, minus five volt, and plus twelve volt. But the Mo Motorola MC six eight zero zero processor, and was also an eight bit processor, and requires only one single voltage supply, uh, that is the plus five voltage. Okay. Uh, later, Intel again comes up with the eight zero eight five processor, upgraded version of Intel eight zero eight zero processor. And it required only a single voltage supply, that is the plus five voltage, and was also an eight bit microprocessor. Motorola then produced the next version MC six eight zero nine processor, which has the uh, property of some sixteen bit instruction processing. That means this MC six eight zero nine processor can process eight bit of uh, instructions as well as certain sixteen bit instructions. Later in 1978, Intel comes out with the 8086 processor, which was a full 16-bit processor and can process all 16-bit instructions in at a time. Sorry, it is a 16-bit processor. It can process 16-bit uh, bit of instruction in 16-bit uh, of information at a time and can process all 16-bit instructions. Okay, and other characteristics are. It contained twenty nine thousand transistors in it with a clock speed of some five to ten megahertz, and a sixteen bit processor. Soon after this Intel eight zero eight six processor, Motorola comes out with the sixteen bit MC six eight zero 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 processor. Almost all uh, features of uh, our Intel eight zero eight six processor. Later in seventy nine, Intel again introduced the eight zero eight eight processor, the cheaper version of eight zero eight six, and with an external eight bit external bus. This is an improvement, eight bit external bus. Intel eight zero eight six processor comes in nineteen eighty two. Follow the same sixteen bit architecture of eight zero eight six as well as the eight zero eight eight processor. And this eight zero uh, and later uh, Intel introduced the eight zero one eight eight processor, the cheaper version of our eight zero one eight six processor, and also had certain additional components like interrupt controller, clock generator, local bus controller, etc. This eight zero one eight eight processor, a cheaper version of eight zero one eight six processor. And with some additional components like interrupt controller, clock generator, local bus controller, etc. 
later in 1982 intel introduced the 80286 processor uh, which was ident identical to the 80186 processor but an extended address bus capacity to 24 bits from 20 bits right 8086 and uh, till 80188 it has the uh, address bus capacity of 20 bits now we have the address capacity of 24 bits in case of intel 80286 processor using this 20 bits of address information it can address the main memory of 16 mb size right using the 24 bit 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 20. 2 raised to 20 actually indicate 1 MB. So total 16 MB of memory it can address using the 24 bits of address information. And also introduce an important concept that was the virtual memory concept in 280286 Intel processor. Later in 1986, 80386 introduced by Intel and its various versions are 80386 ADX, 80388. 386SX, 80386SL, etc., and uh, it had an, a data bus of 32 bit and also address bus of 32 bit. Using the 32 bit of uh, address information, it can address a main memory of 4 GB. That means 32 bit. Using this 32 bit, 2 raised to 2 into 2 raised to 30. 2 raised to 30 means 1 GB as a total 4 GB memory it can address. and was a 32 bit processor because the uh, data bus size is 32 bit data bus can hold 32 bit of information at a time right and uh, also introduced the an important concept that was paging here later in 89 it introduced the next version 80486 and its various versions are 80486 dx sx dx2 dx4 etc and the clock speed was ranging from 16 megahertz to some 100 megahertz and also it can address 8 kb of cache memory and 1 tb of virtual memory this was an important property of this 480486 processor and is used for desktop computing and servers etc later in 1993 the next version 80586 was introduced and this 80586 processor was named as intel pentium processors with a clock speed of 60 to 66 megahertz and can address a virtual memory size of 64 tb and with a level 1 cache memory of 16 kb okay next introduced the intel pentium pro in 1995 with a clock speed of 150 to 200 megahertz and it can uh, address 16 kb of level can level 1 cache memory and 256 kb of level 2 cache memory and it can access up to 64 gb of main memory and mainly designed for this uh, supporting the server systems okay here the level 1 cache always integrated with the processor circuitry itself and the level 2 cache comes usually as an external component in intel pentium 2 and was introduced in 1997 uh, and with the clock speed of 233 to 450 megahertz and another important property here it is uh, the level 2 cache comes up with the processor circuitry itself in intel pentium pro processor the level 1 cache comes up with the processor circuitry and level 2 cache as an external component but in intel pentium 2 onwards both uh, level 1 and level 2 cache comes up with the processor circuitry itself later in 1999 it introduced the intel pentium 3 processor with a clock speed of 0.45 to 1.4 gigahertz with a level 2 cache size increase to 512 kb next version intel pentium 4 introduced in 2000 with a clock speed of 1.3 to 3.8 gigahertz and was more popular and widely used in, in the design of desktop and laptop systems later an uh, a special type of processor intel atom processor introduced in 
एंड वैसे थर्टी टू और सिक्सटी बिट सिक्सटी फोर बिट प्रोसेसर थर्टी टू और सिक्सटी फोर बिट प्रोसेसर एंड अराइज एस ए सिंगल प्रोसेसर और ए डेल कोर प्रोसेसर डेल कोर प्रोसेसर मीन्स इन ए सिंगल चिप इट कंटेन्स टू प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट एंड द यूनिट कैन ऑपरेट इंडिपेंडेंटली इन ऑर्डर टू सपोर्ट मल्टी थ्रेडिंग सो दैट कैन इंक्रीज द परफॉर्मेंस लेवल ओके and intel atom support this dual core property as well as it comes as a single processing unit two versions are available with the intel atom okay and had it had a clock speed of 0.6 to 2.13 gigahertz and a slow power consuming processor with small in size so that widely used in the design of portable notebooks okay next some other 32 bit or 64 bit processors names they are intel celeron intel xeon etc next version intel pentium dual core processor intel pentium dual core processors are also 32 bit or 64 bit processor introduced in 2006 the dual core processor means a single processing chip with two different processing unit they are independent in its activities so that we can support simultaneous multi threading activities okay so this dual core system onwards we can support the multi threading activities using two different or multiple processors we can uh, execute different things parallelly right next the intel core 2 series intel core 2 series Pure 64-bit processors comes under this Intel Core 2 series, introduced in uh, 2006 uh, with multiple core on a single chip. Example: dual core and quad core processor. Dual core processor and quad core processor comes up with the Intel Core 2 series. They are pure 64-bit processor. Dual core processor we have already discussed in a single uh, silicon chip we have two processing unit they can process independently different instructions right the quad core processor means two different dual core processor integrated inside a circuitry two different dual core processor okay in order to increase the performance right core two duo and core to quad these two are the higher versions of dual core processor and quad core processor quad to duo the uh, extension of dual core processor quad to quad the extension of quad core processor quad to duo widely used in desktop and laptop systems core to quad used for the business purposes okay next is the intel core i3 processor we are all familiar with this i3 processor introduced in 2010 only with a clock speed of 1.2 to 3.7 gigahertz and can address 4 mb of layer sorry level 3 cache memory and this i3 processor is a dual core processor and with additional features like supporting hyper threading and also comes with an inbuilt security features okay i3 system on onwards it come comes up with inbuilt security features and also support hyper threading what is this hyper threading this hyper threading in core i3 means this i3 is actually a dual core processor dual core means a single chip with two separate processing unit these two core will appear as four virtual or logical uh, processor in case of this i3 because of this hyper threading facility okay this hyper threading facility represented like the dual core appears as a four virtual or logical processor in order to increase the performance okay next is the intel core i5 processor introduced in 2009 with a clock speed of 1.06 to 3.6 gigahertz and with an important property that is the turbo boost facility and as a four core processor okay what is this turbo boost facility usually our system draw less power and generate low heat while executing instruction but whenever uh, the processor need a high speed or a high performance with the help of this turbo boost facility it can uh, dynamically draw more power and perform or generate high speed performance okay 
so this is turbo boost facility whenever it requests it can dynamically uh, draw more power and generate more speed of instruction execution that is this turbo boost facility in order to increase the performance whenever required and this core i5 is a four core processors okay and it support uh, uh, desktop version uh, design and comes up with the overlocking property also overlocking means uh, actually we can set your uh, cpu and memory to run at speeds higher than the actual officially specified speed rate that is overlocking whenever we need higher uh, speed than this uh, officially specified speed limit we can um, change certain settings or we can make certain setting over your cpu and memory so that we can increase the speed higher than the speed limit specified officially specified by the system okay that is this overlocking property overlocking properties are always um, associated or always used for supporting extreme gaming and uh, for server system development one more important property we want to consider here this for i5 system does not support the hyper threading activity okay i3 comes up with the hyper threading and is a dual core processor i5 is a core four processor and not supporting hyper threading but it support turbo boost facility and overlocking i5 processor onwards this turbo boost facilities and overlocking properties are available but it does not support hyper threading activity but this hyper, th hyper threading is available in core i3 okay next about the core i7 processor introduced in 2008 with a clock speed of 1.6 to 4.4 gigahertz this was also this is also a four core processor just like our i5 processor okay and this support hyper threading overlocking turbo uh, boosting and all and widely used in gaming laptop okay based on our um, hyper threading property this four core act as a eight virtual or logical processor whenever required okay in order to increase the performance right next is the recent development that is the intel core i9 pro, uh, processor introduced in 2017 come up with uh, increased number of cores and threads and also support the hyper threading activity overlocking turbo boosting and everything and also come up with large number of cores and threads and is designed for high performance computing and for supporting extreme gaming and mega tasking and all okay widely used for gaming systems and for developing server systems and all okay so all these are about the uh, evolution and types of microprocessors and uh, next uh, uh, we have total five different generations about the processor the first generation contains processor with 4 bit processing capability and second generation with 8 bit processing capability third with 16 bit processing capability and fourth with 32 bit processing capability and finally the fifth with 64 bit processing capability till now we have 64 bit processing processors only so we are now in the fifth generation with 64 bit processing capability having processors okay so all these are about the evolution of different micro processors mainly based on the intel processes okay thank you